Welcome to the soap room. So this is the actual studio room where the soap is made, all of the products are made. The kitchen area is there, I'll walk you over there in a second. This is where all of the products are on the shelves. So let's just start over here. Uh, so I had this, this was basically custom built um, by some guys in 2015, I think it was. The cabinets used to be red. They have um, a coating of white on them now and the knobs that I chose originally. I'm going to put a second coat of white on here, uh, but not right now. I have just, you know, too many things to do. You can see my big soap pot there that actually is a cream pot, so that's holding cream. That is uh, my industrial wand mixer, and then there's like the witch hazel and alcohol spritz and the cups that I put colors and fragrances in, and the scale that I use to measure everything. There's an induction, not an induction, just a, a plug-in stovetop, and I have another bigger one that I keep on a shelf behind me. Um, I wanted a big open sink knowing that I would be working with big soap pots. So um, you can usually see my little wand mixer on the back there. And I just kind of pop it there because I'm always grabbing it. Um, the cabinets are great. The drawers, the one all the way on the left has all of my gloves, sponges, um, gloves and sponges. I think that's all that's in there and it's enough because I have a lot of them. Uh, this one is just for the spoons and knives and things like funnels uh, and measuring cups and uh, of course my spatulas. So that one is not a drawer and then this one over here is just like the heat wand that I use to get the temperature of the oils in the bottom. Over here is just um, my pouring bowls and uh, mostly bowls, just like the big pouring bowls and, and pitchers it takes up that whole thing. This is just paper towels, trash bags, cleaning supplies. Over here is the um, lye pitchers on the left. And then on the right, I keep um, my distilled water. And then on the left is just the lye container. So that's my lye cabinet. Nobody goes in there. Off limits. Okay, so that's the sink area. This um, print I got when I first put the studio together. Um, a girl on Etsy made this for me and it says Walk the World Wonderstruck. She also gave me another print. She was so cool to work with. I love Etsy sellers. Um, in fact, these are just some letters that I've kept. Um, one of them is from a seller giving me encouragement, telling me not to give up in the beginning when things would seem hard. And I just felt like everything, I was so you know idealistic about it, not knowing the hard road ahead. And now I know exactly what it means. I put it there to remind me she has a successful art business. Um, this is Olivia Hayward. She's a YouTuber that I enjoyed watching for years. I think she's taking a break from YouTube to start her family. Um, I love this hanger. This is just where I have like some little prints that are inspiration that I uh, made myself. Just some of the tags from my first um, exhibition. This was the Pennsylvania Conference for Women. Um, the little black dress. I used to sit on the board of this for um, a local school and do fundraising and participate. Um, lots of different things. And then of course my apron. I need to get some more. Um, let's see. Okay. So this goes out into the other studio room. You already saw a tour of that. I'll link it below if you haven't into the office and shipping area. Um, my big stainless steel table that I love, and I will be getting more of these. I'm probably getting, um, either two more this size or one really long one that'll go across the back. Um, eventually this will all come out and just become stainless steel. I would have done that had I known in the beginning. So if you're thinking of designing a studio, just go with stainless steel, everything. Um, so I love this table. It stays really clean. These are my nitro gloves. They're always here. This is just the box of sparkles that go on top of the soap. Um, this is a bag of kind of surprise treats that I will actually be doing in a few minutes to put up early to show you something that's coming. Um, that is a package from another Etsy seller. This is the shelves. So the guys that did the room for me and the cabinets and everything else put these shelves in and I love what they did. So this holds all the soap. Kim keeps this really pristine. It makes everything really neat when we're grabbing things and going. Um, it, you know, it's really full right now, so it's a good time to do this video because in like a month, it will be back to square one and restocking everything. I love the way the, the loofah soaps look. So you can see like all the pastels that have kind of influenced the other office design. 
All right, so now I'm gonna switch over to the other side here. Here, I just have a stainless steel shelf set. It has my soap cutters that you see me using when I'm cutting soap. These are candles that are left for gift boxes, but I'm not doing candles anymore after this. Um, the cupcake soaps that have been wrapped that need to go to a store. These are all of the samples in separate bags that will go into sample bags. And then this holds all of my mold. All right, so now let's take a walk down the hallway. This is just a long hallway that this is where I keep all the raw materials basically. So um, I've got soap samples that go in containers. I have all of my fragrances and essential oils here. Um, up top, I've got things like clays and powders and oils and butters. Um, my soap colors are here. So these are all of the greens and blues. Those are all browns, black and white. All of the oranges and purple, pink and red. These are just uh, my waxes and my butters and stearic acid. And the bottom shelf just has extra bins and things like that. Um, this shelf just holds things like molds, like the silicone molds. I have a whole bunch of them in a big container, but these are the ones that I know I might be using soon, so they go in there. Little sample containers that I can use to give people. Um, my castor oil jugs, things like that go here. Okay, so this table over here is going to become a stainless steel table, but really it's just a work and packaging table, so it's kind of fine how it is. Um, this used to be in my shop, and now I just use it for my labels, so you can see it's labeled according to the different scents. So perfume oils, creams, everything in those scents makes it a lot easier, and then I have some that go up here. This table is the grab-and-go table for putting, um, grabbing things to put in gift boxes, so when we're pulling things from the shelves, um, it comes from here. So like the mesh washcloths, the face sponges, these spa socks, salts, and lip balms, the things that we're most likely to use. Um, and then, you know, just some pens and, and notepads for taking notes while we're in here. Oh, the light is on right here. I thought I'd show you the shipping area. So I took um, a table and brought it in here and decided to use this to become the new, not shipping area photography area. So I wanted to use this um, as the photography area. I found this kind of poster board type thing works well back here to give me the best white shots um, using my camera to do that now instead of my phone. But I thought I'd just give you a shot of what um, one of the gift boxes that I'm working on now looks like. Um, my lights and everything are all linked in the description. Everything in here is linked. Oh, I should probably link this. This is so I can seal um, bags when I am ready to shrink wrap stuff. So this is the area where I just put things um, when they're ready for Kim. So these have to be labeled. I have to do the rest of them or Kim's gonna fill them actually probably. Um, so she'll label all of these and she just brings everything over here when she's working. These are just the start of the little mini sample creams we're doing. Um, so I'll just put like some bins with instructions for her in the other room. And that is it. So I think, and that's just my camera tripod. Um, down here is a bench that my son made for me in high school with my logo kind of burned into the top. Um, a lot of these things on, on these shelves I'm discontinuing, so I will be doing a big YouTube giveaway. So I will be doing a big um, YouTube giveaway for just as a thank you for my subscribers um, for getting me to 1,000. Took forever and I'm so grateful to um, to be there. I'm only nine away right now, so I'm hoping by the end of the weekend we'll get there. So I will be doing a good, um, I will be doing a big giveaway and just um, putting in things like some candles, some soap cupcakes, you know, fun stuff, also scrubs, things that I'm going to be discontinuing. I have some intention candles with crystals in them. Um, and of course, you'll get some of the soaps and the creams and some samples and just a little of everything, whoever wins it. So make sure you subscribe so that you, um, and hit the notification bell so that you know when I'm doing it, because it'll be soon, really as soon as I, I hit 1,000. That's the video that I'm going to do fairly quickly. So this is a package that came in from, um, an Etsy seller that I've been working with, and she makes a wonderful soap dough and things shaped out of soap dough. That's what her whole shop is, and I love um, what she does. Um, and I'm using her soap dough things to make my soap, my um, cupcake creations come to life. So I thought I would just kind of unbox them with you. Okay, so I'll be making five different kinds. I already did the mermaids. Those did not use soap. Dough. Those were my own whole process. 
and she always gives me some samples. Samples are super cute, so let's look at Super cute. They're little stars, red, white, and blue. Um, Fourth of July things. This is um, an apple and a blossom, super cute. I will put these on um, some random cupcakes, some flowers, and then I'll use them for giveaways. So what I had done, because I never got to make my gnomes, and my toadstools. I'm gonna do different colors of these. They're little toadstools. And then there are gnomes as well. So let's unwrap one of the gnomes and see what that looks like. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. She does such a good job. Not very good at this kind of thing, like making things like this. But, um, so I believe in having someone who knows what they're doing do it. So these are super cute and they're different colors. So I'll do cupcakes that have gnomes and toadstools and seal this so they don't dry out. They're all individually wrapped, which I love. And then the other, so that will be one of the soaps. Okay, she put some more samples in here again. Oh my goodness, she gave me a lot of samples. These are seashells. So, you know, maybe I'll actually, oh, here's a lemon, I love that. I'm gonna make some extra cupcakes with some of these designs and we'll include those maybe in the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. This is going to be a honeycomb soap cupcake. How cute. So we'll do that. And let's see what else is in here. Um, oh, strawberries. I wanted to do a strawberry one. So these will mainly go to my store. I'll put a couple of them online. Look at the strawberries. Aren't they amazing? She has such attention to details. So we'll do those. And those are all strawberries. So I also have um, blueberries. Let me show you those. Blueberries and orange blossoms. That's the other one there in here. Okay, so here's the blueberries. So there's, um, instead of taking them out, you can see the little flowers. Each one will have a leaf, a flower, and a couple blueberries on top of it. I love those. And then these are the orange blossoms. Oh my gosh, they're so much prettier than I even thought they would be. So each orange blossom one will have one of these flowers. They have all this dimension to them too. And then there is, underneath, um, they'll have the flower. Each one will get a leaf. And then they will each get an orange slice. Okay, so we have quite a few of these in the soap cupcakes. I'm only making like 10 of each. Uh, giving some to stores and then I'll use them, you know, I'll put one or a couple of them up on the, on the um, website and go from there. So I'm going to package these up. Just wanted to show them to you. Um, stick around because we have a giveaway coming up, as I mentioned. And you can watch me also make all of these soap, these, um, soap cupcakes. All right, so that's that. I'll probably link her store here too. All right, guys, so that's it. I'm gonna say goodbye. Um, I'll be away all next week in West Palm Beach. Kim will be over here working and getting orders out, and then I will see you when I get back.